Esme was always going on and on about how you pushed me out of my father's life. And she said that I should push back. She encouraged me to get revenge. Did you ever ask yourself why she cared so much? I was no one to her. The two of you, you had the kind of life that teenagers dream of. You had Europe at your fingertips. Would living your best life have been the best revenge? No, apparently not. Esme was determined to get me back here. Because Ryan ordered her to do all of that. And, and look what happened. Nicholas and I are divorced, and you and your father are more estranged than ever. It was Ryan. Ryan played us all. I have to admit, Ava, I didn't think that you knew me so well, but you're right. I didn't want any of this to happen until I met Esme, and she used my resentment towards you to talk me into stalking you, and I own up to what I did. My part of it. But the escalation? Putting that bear on Avery's bed? Setting her car on fire? Putting Kiki's hospital ID badge next to the wreckage? That was all Esme. I didn't even know that it was done until it already happened. I believe you. Oh. All that misery because Ryan couldn't stand me being with someone else. God, I cannot believe I was so blind. We all were. We were all blind and used, manipulated. Manipulated or not, I did Ryan's dirty work for him. I drove my father away. Spencer, no. No, it wasn't you. You listen to me. Nicholas would still be here, if not for Ryan Chamberlain. Spencer? What's wrong? I messed up, grandmother. Okay, just take a deep breath. Tell me what's going on. Because of me, my baby brother and I no longer have a father. Even in death, it seems that Ryan Chamberlain wins. Spencer, we will find your father. And when we do, we will explain to him what took place here. And I'll talk some sense into him. You know, and until then, take a look around you. You're not alone. Sonny's here, I'm here. Always. You and your brother are gonna have more support than you know what to do with. <laughs>